So I was asked to do a reaction to the alien hearing. It's like two hours. I'm not doing two hours of alien talk. However, I found some highlights or an excerpt of sorts that should be interesting. So <laughs> let's take a look at this. And then I'll tell you what I really think about aliens. <laughs> Thank you. I will now recognize Ms. Luna for five minutes of questioning. Uh, Mr. Elizondo, to your knowledge, can you name the country and around time frame that the first back, enge back engineered uh, UAP program started? Ma'am, uh, unfortunately, I would not be able to have that conversation in public. Um, can anyone on the panel name that? I can. None of you? Um, this next question is for Mr. Gallaudet. Uh, to your knowledge, have any USOs ever outpaced our submarines? Yes, ma'am. At what magnitude? Uh, I don't have the exact speed, but again, a witness came to me, a credible summer, former submarine officer who uh, observed it on, uh, on sonar data. And um, this was in the 80s in the North Atlantic during a storm, and uh, it outpaced the, his submarine by orders of magnitude. Are you aware of any hotspots that currently exist off our shores in North America? And not, not with uh, sufficiently um, uh, credible data, ma'am. Okay, we've heard reports of there potentially being hotspots, maybe maybe enter and or entry and exit points. Have you heard of any of that? Uh, yeah, I've heard about that related to other beings. Uh, I have not, ma'am, but I, my uh, colleague here, Mr. Elizondo, does discuss some uh, USO activity that he's observed in certain DOD databases. Uh, Mr. Elizondo, in regards to these aircraft being piloted by whatever they might be, non-human biologics, are you, would you agree that it's likely that they are being piloted by some mind-body connection? Ma'am, I think it is safe to presume here that they are being intelligently controlled because they, some cases, seem to anticipate uh, our maneuvers, and in other cases, they seem to, you um, know, I, I came across an email where the word "stalked" was used in a uh, in a <laughs> very secure email between Navy officers discussing their ships uh, being pursued. Flying next to them. We made a left. We banked to the left, it banked to the left. Stalking us. By a UAP. In our previous panel- Meanwhile, the aliens in it. Had a crush and he had testified to say that some of these were interdimensional beings. Can you speak on that at all? Ma'am, I'm not qualified, uh, certainly as a scientist or otherwise, to speculate points of origin. Um, I looked at everything from a scientific perspective. So if you look at, it, for example, instantaneous acceleration, which was one of the observables of the program that I belong to, ATIP, um, the human body can withstand about nine G-forces for a short period of time before you suffer negative biological consequences, blackouts and ultimately redouts and even death. Comparison, our best technology, the F-16, which is one of its older platform, but one of our most highly maneuverable aircraft, manned aircraft, uh, made by General Dynamics, can perform about 17 or 18 G-forces before you start having structural failure, meaning that the airframe begins to disintegrate while you're flying. The vehicles we're, we're talking about are performing in excess of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 Gs. So are you, I guess, would it be safe to infer that they're living... Um, you know, I'm not prepared at this point to state for the record um, a living something craft? alive or not, because even that definition is hard. So you're telling me like, nope, that what you're telling me or some type of bio organic. You see how much I'm believing this? I'm not believing it at all. I'm going to tell you why before this is even over. Okay. A lot of the stuff going on is stuff. A lot of the stuff going on now politically and in the past few years, certain things politically, socially, I've read was going to happen by all the psycho conspiracy theorists when I was in my 20s. OK, and it's all happening now. Several conspiracy theories from the loony bin have come true because they're so crazy and false. I heard a conspiracy theory related to all this alien-ish 
which is very similar to a conspiracy theory for 9-11. I'll just leave it at that. You could go do your research. But I'm just like, uh-huh. Okay. That's why I'm just like, yeah. Oh, we were all running in the mall. No one could get any footage. Hundreds of people with cell phones. And people are like, you would run to... I'm telling you right now. If I go to one of my local malls and I see a little... <laughs> I am pulling out the fucking camera and I am filming it clear 4k 30 frames okay no 8k because I got a s23 ultra it does an 8k right if not 4k 30 4k 60 whatever it's matter of fact I'm gonna tell you right now what is it capable of video 8K60. I am filming it in 8K60 and I'm uploading it here. Okay? I think uh, there's some hooey here with all of this. I really do. Okay? Many people say that it ain't nothing but us messing with each other. <laughs> Dressed up in this stuff, harassing each other. It's like some Bigfoot stuff. It's a guy in a suit walking around making headlines, whether it's distractions, whether it's something else. I don't know. Okay. But <laughs> uh. there was a time in science we, we thought that um, life required oxygen, and we now know that's not true. There are anaerobic bacteria that thrive in Very true, oxygen, at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, environments yes. that lack oxygen. Um, and to also see the photosynthesis. When I was mm -hmm. in college, I was told every everything is derived from photosynthesis uh, as a form of energy. Um, in reality, that's not true. There are things that bottom are of the ocean. Of chemosynthesis. So we're constantly ha uh, having to reevaluate our understanding what, what the definition of life is. Um, do any of you ever come across reports from people that claim to have firsthand experiences with these entities, whatever they might be, or these aircraft, and then as a result, whether or not they're religious, find that these things will automatically disappear? Um, Anyone, this is open to any of you on the panel. So just real quick, because I'm running out of time. Lou? Uh, Ma'am, um, I've always been a nuts and bolts kind of guy when I was at ATIP, um, I was focusing more on the performance char characteristics and not less on the, the potential occupants. Okay, um, the reason I ask is because it seems like just based on our conversations that we've had people that say that there are good and bad of whatever these things are. And so my concern- Yeah, and I don't care who, who tells me it's real. Until I see Trump shaking hands with Bububi Babu, okay? On camera with the, with the American flag flapping in the background, okay? And, and and I'm convinced from all angles that you know. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I find out he's talking to aliens and he's going to introduce the boogie boo to us. I'm go. I'm driving to D.C. for that, I, and I'm getting a front row seat. I want to see that. But boogie boo, I want to shake your hand too. Your three fingers. I want to shake them too. And when I do, I'm. Mm -hmm. She ain't no dude in the suit. <laughs> I don't believe it. From a national security perspective, is is A, that true? B, are you guys hearing reports of that? And C, I think moving forward in regards to technology, Mr. Gold, if you can answer this real quickly, some of these aircraft, it seems that they are operating off of energy that we don't currently have. Uh, but just yes or no, in your opinion, if we were able to obtain that, would that impact humanity for the better or negative? It would certainly save us some money on funding on Artemis. Definitely. And this is a national security issue, that if there is such technology out there, we're not the only country that might have access to it. We don't want to be on the wrong end of technological surprise. Okay. Thank you guys for your time. Yeah. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, I had heard a conspiracy theory years ago. First of all, I think all the alien sightings is probably us messing with each other. Different countries, different technology, messing around with stuff, testing stuff. As a matter of fact, a lot of people have thought that for years. It's nothing but our own governments testing different technology. Not everybody knows. So it's like some deep, deep, dark secrets, secret level stuff. So 
So no, not even the president knows about certain stuff. But I had heard one years ago where they said <laughs> where they said that they would try to unite the world by staging an attack by aliens on the whole world. Because when we fight with each other, it's different. But when we all unite to fight a common threat, that would bring the world together for world peace. That's what I heard. So we'll see if it's true or not. I don't know if it's true. But what I think, I think aliens aren't real. I think it's humans messing around. That's what I think it is. And a lot of you religious people, I already know, you think it's demons messing with us. Okay. It could be both. Okay. So I, whatever. Okay. Post your comments down below and let me know what you think. And I already know, um, Matt Walsh, yeah, Matt, Matt Walsh, he thinks they're real. He's over at the Daily Wire. Um, sure. He's made a few videos on this. Um, he's got a pretty good film out called, uh, what is a woman? Wasn't able to see his last film that he did, but uh, I think it's called Am I Racist? So, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to Tyrone Magnus and uh, make sure you watch me on my show. What does he say again? Uh, 10 million subscribers. Whoa.